people, check out this video. We're asking questions from Michael Puffer and we're going to be asking questions about the Master Key experience and helping others. Great to meet you, boys. Uh, hi, Michael. Thanks for joining us. Could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name's Michael Puffer. I live in central Minnesota, uh, happily married for 29 years. I have two beautiful daughters, and I run a computer and IT services company day to day. Um, could you please tell us what the Master Key experience is to you? The Master Key experience is a method or a course to teach people how to use the one thing that every human has control of. There's only one thing that the creator gave us control of. That one thing is our thoughts. And the Master Key Experiences follows a, uh, a course that was written many, many years ago called the Master Key System, written by Charles Hanel. And what it does, it lets us know that we are absolutely in control of our thoughts, but we have to practice. We, we learn the skills, we learn the habits, so that we can start controlling our minds. Now, every great inventor, every great explorer, every great artist, everything they've ever created started with one thing, a thought. A thought charged with feeling became a belief, and then they put their thoughts into action and they created something out of nothing, just a thought in their minds. So the master key taught me that I have that power to groom my thoughts so I can do anything that I set my mind to. Uh, why did you do it? I had a good friend who uh, was in the master key before me and she told me about it, explained what it was all about. I trusted her and I, when I found out about it, did some reading and watched some YouTube videos. I thought this was something I was really interested in and I'm so glad, absolutely so glad that I did uh, take the plunge and join the master key experience. What did you get out of it? I got a, a, a ton of friends around the world, people that I love, people that love me back. Uh, we're still friends years later. But what I really got out of it is um, how, to, how to understand who I really am inside. I run a computer company, so a lot of times when I'm working, I'm working alone. It's just me at the keyboard or my customers are with me, but they're kind of behind me, so I'm not interacting with them face-to-face -face very often. And I really miss that personal communication. So it taught me how to do my job, do it well, but also to open up the side of me that was missing. And that's the more friendly side, the outgoing side, the guy who likes to have a little bit of fun. And that's really helped me in my personal life, understand my relationship with my daughters and my wife to make our family life better. But it's also um, been very, very effective um, in growing my business and having a lot more fun in my life. Was there a time in your life that led you to search for something like this? I think so. I think over the years, many times when it, it, some of the bad days you have where things aren't going right, or maybe you just lost your job, you just wonder there's got to be more to life. Because I've always been a hard worker. I've always got, had high hopes. But what I found is the things that were missing in my life. And it was really the structure that the master key gave me. There's four clues or four keys to success in life. One is a positive mental attitude, and I was pretty good with that. Two was a burning desire, a de definite major purpose in life, and that I didn't have. And the third was a mastermind. I didn't have other people that could help me through this. And the last one was a plan of action. How do I get to where I want to go? And the master key helped me with all four of those things. Um, is there something else really special that you got out of the master key experience that you'd like to share with us today? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, back in uh, October of 2014, uh, I left for work one day and um, I uh, got a call from my daughter as I was away at the job that um, someone was at the house banging on all the doors. My daughter was young, they were about 14 years old. Um, and she was scared. And I told her just, if someone comes in the house, run away, run to the neighbors, get out of town. So I'm worried, I'm sitting there um, not knowing what's going on. Um, finally, I get a message from someone that uh, my wife was in a car accident and I needed to be home right away. So I was over an hour away, I drove, um, back home, picked up my daughter, picked up my dad, and we went down to the hospital. My wife that morning had gotten up to give a friend a ride to the airport to um, pick up her car and bring her car back. So 
all on that journey, uh, their car was struck broadside by a truck at highway speed. Uh, the friend unfortunately had passed in the accident, but my wife was left with a severe traumatic brain injury. At the scene of the accident, she was actually intubated because she was not responsive in any way. So um, during those first few days, all, all we knew was we had to be at the hospital. Luckily, my daughter was 14, so she was able to take care of herself, but we were all there together. But um, I, didn't, I couldn't work for a while. There were, uh, a local church came by, donated some money to us. Uh, a lot of friends and family made us meals. So when we did come home to change clothes or pick up things to get back and get back to the hospital, they helped us a lot. Um, and there's th certain things that happen when, it, when a family goes through a trauma like that. There's a, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of worry. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of um, unknowing. What the Maskeys taught me is that we can get through anything because it's all in our thoughts. How do we handle things? Um, so that really helped me uh, listen better to my family that were going through this, but it also helped me understand that, you know, this too shall pass. It's not going to be like this every day, the rest of the day of my life. So that was really special to me. Uh, have you done any other self-help courses before? I've done a couple. Uh, most of them were uh, by myself, you know, reading a book or maybe attending a seminar. And, and the biggest thing that I talk about with people about the master keys is it's not just a weekend seminar. It's not just a book that you read. It's 26 weeks of study, being guided, doing a lot of homework on your own. And when the 26 weeks are over, that's really the beginning of the rest of your life because now you have the skills, now you have the habits, and you have a mastermind. People you can talk about your wins and wishes and things that are bothering you. So it's not just a weekend seminar or a book that you read. It's really something for the rest of your life. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any other of our videos.